Well, I had a friend of mine with a local cabinet shop give me a couple free cabinets that he said I could use for shop storage. And I figured I've got some cutoffs and some drops. I decided to make some butcher block countertops out of some scrap wood that I had laying around and refinish these old cabinets. So we're gonna take them from this dingy old yellowed oak look to this. So we're gonna paint the cabinets black. These are actually pretty unique drawers. They've got metal sides here. So I simply just have to unscrew the drawer front and then I can paint it and screw it right back on. Punting glass doors. It's real good for them. So we got this sound bitch nice and level. You can see that's what the zeros mean. And because I built this wall, <laughs> I know the studs are 16 inches on center. So that should mean I can bury a screw right around that area. Yay! <laughs> so this is where we're gonna be storing all of our screws. Keep it in this nice organized fashion. They're color coded, so you just dive in and find them, and then you're good. So to hang this upper, I'm going, I cut two spacers here, they're 24 inches each. Um, they're really, it's, it's a tall wall and we're not gonna be using it every day, so that height's fine for me. Plus, I'm tall, Sam will have to use a ladder. With that, I have holes and screws already pre-drilled in the cabinet carcass. That way when I put it up on the wall, it already knows where the studs are and I measured off of where I, I know the studs are on the wall from the inside of the cabinet and then put the screws in there so I can just set this thing up there, buzz it right in and then level it, buzz the other screw in. Let's do it. I got a client that we did a couple countertops for and we've got a lot of reclaimed dug fur that was old roof joists in his building. Um, and I've got these cutoffs for it. So instead of buying countertops or using plywood or something like that, we're gonna use them up and we're gonna make two little countertops for the cabinets you guys just watched me install. Jack! Damn it, Paul, how do you get that to work like that? Let me turn on this dust collector because I don't have central. I'm gonna cheat this because we've got all these small parts. Now, the right way to do this would be to put a domino or a dowel in them um, and glue it on each end. But because I'm lazy and this is for the shop, we're going to actually nail this top together and then put it in clamps after everything's kind of held to where it's gonna be. So I'm going to use a little bit of American ingenuity just to glue these up. You can see here, this will be a short end piece, right? And instead of, getting wild and crazy, I'm just gonna do this.
Hey, it didn't fall apart. So if these weren't for the shop, I'd probably water pop them and uh, wipe them down to 220, maybe 400 grit, but they are for the shop, so I don't care. So we're gonna give them a wipe and then I'm gonna put a basic finish on them um, and get them installed. By the way, if you're digging my content and you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see in the next shop project. Thank you guys so much for checking out this build. If you want to see another one of my shop vlogs, I've got one queued up for you right here. I also want to thank my sponsor for this build, Woodcraft. If you want to see more from them, I've got a link down in the description. Lastly, thank you guys one more time for tuning in. Go punch your next project in the face. I'll see you in the next video. Well, it is the fan.